Greetings, fellow Obsidians of the vast Obsidian community. Welcome to another video in the Obsidian for Noobs video series, featuring tutorials, tips, and tools for new users of the Obsidian personal knowledge management software. Before I get into today's Obsidian topic, I want to mention that I've included a promo video for my new novel, Sherlock Holmes and the Time Machine, at the end of this video. Please stay on and give it a look if you are so inclined. It's only one minute long. Thanks. Okay, in today's video I'm going to discuss several ways we can work with images in Obsidian. Obsidian's native image manipulation options are limited to resizing only. But with some CSS snippets and a little cleverness, we can increase our control of the images in our notes. Specifically, this video will cover the following. Inserting an image into a note. Moving an image up and down in a note. Resizing an image in a note. Positioning an image in a note using CSS and wrapping text around an image in a note using CSS. Let's see how. Okay, I'm in my demo vault. Let's first talk about inserting images into notes. We can insert an image into an Obsidian note in one of three ways. We can drag and drop it into a note, we can copy and paste it into a note, or we can create an embedded link to it in a note. I've already copied an image from my hard drive, and I'm going to paste it in this note. It's the book cover image for the book I was mentioning earlier. Notice that when I paste it, Obsidian assigns it a numerical name. Basically, that's a date and time stamp. And it saves that image to my Assets folder. In Settings, I've designated the Assets folder as the place that I wanted to save, the, uh, to save assets or attachments, and it saved it here. The first thing I'm going to do is give this a more meaningful name. So I'm going to rename it SH Book Cover for Sherlock Holmes Book Cover. And you can see that Obsidian has changed the name now in the actual note. If I delete this, I can create an embedded link to the image. As long as the image is saved, in my vault, and uh, it is over here, I can link to it, and I can create an embedded link which will embed the image in the note. We know that links are created using double brackets, but if I want to embed that link, I first have to start with an exclamation mark. Then I do the double brackets. Obsidian gives me a list of all the files in my vault. There's the image I want. I select it, and it's embedded in the note. Now, as far as moving images, natively, Obsidian only lets me move an image up or down in a note. If I want to move it down, I position the cursor above the image, and I hit the Enter key. And that brings it down in the note. If I want to move an image up, I again position the cursor above the note, and I hit the Backspace key, and that moves it up. The other thing we can do with images in Obsidian is resize them. And we can resize images in one of two ways. First, we can specify the width only. In this case, the image will scale according to its original aspect ratio. In other words, its height will adjust proportionally to the change in width that I specify. Let me demonstrate that. The way we do that is, right after the image file name, we put a pipe symbol. That's that vertical bar. It's generally above the backslash key on a keyboard. And then we specify the width we want. In this case, I'm going to put 300. And Obsidian immediately resizes the image. Now, it's scaled it based upon the aspect ratio that this image had. So it assigns a height number to it that keeps the aspect ratio. The other option I have is to specify both a width and a height. The way I do that is I put the width first, then an X, and then the height. Now I've made it 300 by 300 pixels. In other words, it's square. The danger with specifying both width and height is that you can distort the image unless you know the original aspect ratio when you pick your height uh, to be consistent with that. So the safer bet is just give it a width value and let it rescale the image proportionally as we did here. There's a bigger height where it stretches it. So 
So again, to resize an image, immediately after the image file name, put a pipe symbol, the vertical bar, and then a number representing the width. And Obsidian will resize the image proportionally based upon the aspect ratio assigned to it originally. If you want to specify both a width and a height, put the width value, an X, and the height value. That's resizing an image. And that's really all we can do natively with images in Obsidian. We can move them up and down, and we can resize them. They're left aligned in the note by default, and we cannot position them anywhere else. Also, we cannot wrap text around an image. In Obsidian, an image reserves the space alongside it, even if it doesn't occupy that space. So all of this space to the right of this image is, is unusable space in the note. I can put text above the image. Let's get some uh, lorem ipsum text here. And I could put text below the image, but there's no way I can get it alongside the image. Despite these limitations, if we employ some CSS, we can overcome them and gain a bit more control over the images we place in our notes. Let's first talk about positioning an image in a note using CSS. This book cover image uh, in its normal size is too large for me to demonstrate positioning because you won't be able to see me center it or move it to the right. So I'm going to put a new image in the note. I have an image that I've already saved to my assets folder called Handsome Cab, and I'm going to put an embedded link to that now. So I'm going to type an exclamation symbol, two open brackets, and here's the image I want, Handsome Cab. It's smaller, and I can demonstrate positioning. The CSS snippet we use to position the image in a note looks as follows. Now, if you're familiar with CSS, or you've seen some of my, or you've seen some of my other videos about CSS, you know that any statement in CSS, in a CSS snippet that begins with a slash and an asterisk is a comment. That is not executed as code in the snippet. Rather, it's there for human beings to convey information to them. So I have three comments here at the beginning of this snippet. All of this down here is the actual, is the actual code of the snippet. But my comments are as follows. The first one says, align, image, align images right, center, and left. In other words, this first comment is telling people what this code does. In the second comment, I've given an example of how you use it. So you have the name of the image, and then you put a pound symbol, and you put either center, right, or left, indicating whether you want it left aligned, right aligned, or in the center. In the third comment, I've given an example of how you use this alignment snippet together with the resizing that we just saw. So if you want to both resize and position an image, you do it as follows. Right after the image name, you put the pound symbol and the alignment you want, right, left, or center, then the pipe symbol and the width value you want. So we can both position an image and resize it together uh, in the link. I've already uh, created a file, a CSS snippet file with this code in it, and I've uh, saved it to the snippets folder in this vaults folder, and I've activated it. Uh, again, I've, I discussed this process in great detail in one of my other videos. I'll just show you very quickly now. If I go into settings and appearance, and I scroll down to CSS snippets, this is the snippet that's used to align the images. I've called it Im image hyphen align, and I've activated it here, and I will demonstrate it now. So let's go to this image of the handsome cab. If I want to center it, right after the image name, I put a pound symbol and I put the word center. And you can see that Obsidian immediately centers that image. This is being accomplished by the CSS snippet. If I want to right align it, I replace the word center with the word right. And you can see now the image is right aligned. And as we know, by default, Obsidian left aligns images. 
So this simple CSS snippet gives us some greater control over these images. We can now position an image to the left, the center, or the right in a note. Well, this is definitely an improvement, but it still doesn't allow us to wrap text around the image. In other words, this space alongside the image is still dead space. It's still occupied or reserved by that image. Whether I center it, right align it, or left align it, the space on either side of it is unusable. In order to accomplish word wrapping, we need to combine another CSS snippet and a little cleverness. Okay, first let me note that I put the word wrapping in quotes because we will be creating the illusion of text wrapping. The trick is to create a single row, two cell, or three cell table in the note, and then use a CSS snippet to hide the table's borders. We can then put the image in one of the cells and put text in the other cells. The resulting effect will look like text wrapping around the image, as you see here. This is actually a single line, two cell table. I have an image in the right cell, I have text in the left cell, and I've used a CSS snippet to hide the border of the table. Specifically, I've used a CSS class, table hyphen borderless. I've shown that snippet in a previous video. Again, I'm not gonna go into the details here, but we create the snippet save it to the snippets folder, activate it in settings, and then it will render the borders of any table invisible. Now, a CSS class is the ability to use a CSS snippet in selected notes. In other words, this will not affect the entire vault. It will only affect any note in which I place the uh, CSS class in the YAML properties. So I have it here, and only this note is affected by it. If I delete this from the YAML, let me bring that up here. If I delete this CSS class from the YAML, we'll see the borders appear on the table. There you go. Let me put it back. So as I said previously, we're creating the illusion of text wrapped around an image. Here's an example using a three cell table. I've put the image in the center cell, I've put text on either side, and I've put text underneath the image in that same cell. This looks just like a magazine or a newspaper article where you have text wrapping around an image. It's really not wrapping. Like I said, it's an illusion, but it's a very effective illusion, I think. Let me uh, get rid of this snippet again, and you can see the table here. This is the CSS snippet that accomplishes this. The borders of a table are broken down into parts in the uh, CSS variables that you can find in the Obsidian uh, online help uh, website. And what I've done is I've assigned each component of the table border a width of zero pixels, rendering it invisible. And it's a CSS class. So table borderless is what I must put in the YAML properties to activate that CSS class in the node. Let's make one ourselves here. Yeah. I'll get rid of this, make some space. And I'll insert a table. Let's make it three cells across. I'll eliminate the bottom row so that we have a one row, three cell table. In the center cell, I'm going to put an embedded link to the Sherlock Holmes book cover. And to make it smaller, I'm going to use the resizing trick by putting the pipe symbol and 300. In fact, let's make it smaller still. Let's make it 200. Then I'll grab some of this lorem ipsum text. And 
and place it here and here. And let's place a little bit underneath. Now I can put my CSS class back into the YAML front matter properties. To eliminate the table borders, and I have the illusion of text wrapping around an image. Let's create a two border table. I'll insert a table, excuse me, a two cell table. I'll delete the bottom row. In the right cell, I'll put a embedded link to an image. I'll use that other image now, the handsome cab. I'll make it smaller, and I'll put the text over here. Then I'll eliminate the borders. And there you have it. So there you have it, working with images in Obsidian. Although Obsidian's native image manipulation options are limited to resizing images and moving them up or down, with a couple of simple CSS snippets, we can add greater image manipulation functionality. We can position images center or right justified, in addition to the default left justified. And we can create the illusion of text wrapping around an image by using borderless tables. Not bad for a simple markdown-based note-taking app. Before I sign off, please remember to check out the promo video for my Sherlock Holmes novel, which follows immediately if you are so inclined. Okay, fellow up citizens, that's all I have for now. I'll see you in the next video. Happy note taking. Indeed, the facts are most peculiar. Ah, tell us everything, Mr.